hello everybody today we're going to make puff puffs using yeast last time we made them using baking powder and i promised you that we're going to make them using yeast and that's what we're going to do today i'm going to show you an easiest way to make puff puffs using yeast that's how they look when they're done so now i'm going to show you the ingredients and then we begin you need powdered milk any type of powdered milk you want i'm going to use needle today yeast flour sugar oil salt and water that's what we need for our perfect puff puff now we're going to make to mix our ingredients together we start with flour two and a half cups of flour four tablespoons of sugar the whole sachet of yeast two tablespoons of powdered milk half teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of oil mix and add water And mix and be mixing and be adding and be adding water until you come up with your perfect dough. Now I'm not going to add any water again. That's enough. Just going to mix it and cover it and leave it for four to five minutes. After 45 minutes, that's how it looks. Now I'm just going to mix my dough. Spreading flour on top of it. And also on top of the surface, your working surface. And mix it. You need to mix it for about 10 minutes. So that it will be perfect. I'll be adding flour and be mixing it as you can see spreading flour and mix it now I'm going to just spread oil on top of my working table there it's well cleaned my hands are also clean that is very important I'll mix now that's my dough it's done so now I'm just going to put it in a container but you have to put a drop of oil in the container and spread it so that it will not stick now cover it for four to five minutes or one hour and then after 45 minutes to one hour that's how it looks it's double its size now I will spread oil inside my hands and be cutting it using my hands like that that size not too big I spread my the oil inside my hands because I don't want it to stick. Now done. Now I'm going to heat my stove. 
put oil in the pot, leave it to heat up. I'm using medium temperature. My oil is hot enough. Now it's getting brown. If you follow the instructions and um, use medium temperature of the stove, your puff puffs, puff, they will not suck oil. They will not suck oil. It will be nice and dry inside and soft, but there will be no oil inside. But if you use minimum temperature, it will suck a lot of oil. If you use maximum temperature, it will not be done, it will be burned. So the perfect temperature is medium. You can see how brownish they are. And I always, you have to make sure that you remove them before they bend, before they get bent. So now that's how you make puff puffs an easiest way to make them i'm happy that i've shown you how to make yeast puff puffs so i hope you enjoyed the video please do subscribe like comment press the notification button so that you will know whenever i post a video thank you for watching guys Hope to see you next time.
that's all they are.